We know a male brain from a female brain and because of, and I'm going to read you a little story that illustrates one of the ways we know. So the, this is in the minds of boys. These were boys uh, who were looking back, who were somewhere between my age group and the general's age group. I think now they'd be about 65. And they were looking back at uh, when they were kids and what they did. So when we were 13 or so, my friends and I had a game, this guy says. We'd go down to the basement, we could make it completely dark, each of us would find a hiding place, then someone would start the game by turning out the lights, and we would try to hit each other with darts. Okay? <laughs> so picture metal pointed darts. You'd think you heard someone make a noise, and by the way, as I read this, I'm going to beg you to think about if you're male, something like this that you did, and if you're female, something like this that your brothers or a male friend did. We would try to hit each other with darts. You'd think you heard someone make a noise. You'd come out of your hiding place throwing darts, but then you're cringing because you were fair game too. There'd be silence. Then you'd hear someone yell, ow! So one time we turned on the light, a guy had a dart dangling from his cheek, just below his eye. Did they stop? Really, it was so dangerous. You'd think they'd stop. No. He just goes, ah, no big deal. After that, we just wore goggles. <laughs> they were done. Think about any culture on earth, so any ship, any culture on earth, where you can get five girls who really, really like each other, because those five boys are best friends. Five girls who really like each other, who think to themselves, I want to show my love for my friends by taking these girls with me down into a completely dark basement and throwing metal pointed darts at each other. That feels like a way to show my love to my sisters. And I challenge you, and I don't think any of us are going to find that, unless obviously it's an experiment and we stage it. Well, why? And what I'm going to do is the male side of this first, and then I'm going to show you a video clip and, clip and switch over to the female. I'll go back and forth between male and female. So on the male side of this, here are a few things that are happening in the brain that set up this behavior. Um, number one, these are darts. So one thing is they're objects moving through space. Okay, so store that. Number two, there's aggression in it and challenge in it. The friendship is, is shown, the love is shown through aggression and challenge as opposed to, or different than, direct empathy, right? So there's a different hormone base we're going to talk about between males and females. All five senses, females on average test out better than males. So of course, and why? Because females have more of these sensory centers active that are taking in more data and content. And one of the be best ways that shows up is in facial cues. Females pick up more facial cues than males. They have more of their brain is set up to pick up facial cues and to be processing what it is. I wonder what the person's feeling. There are women in here who would be picking up facial cues I'm not picking up because it's a male-female brain difference. Sure, there are exceptions. There's someone out there, a guy, who picks up facial cues really, really well. Of course. Um, uh, however, females tend to pick up more on facial cues and it gives them joy. They're chatting, they're talking, and so, therefore, more verbal centers. So less centers in the female brain move objects in space. More centers in the female brain do words and word production. This also is set up in utero. So what happens is the, testo the female brain develops with word centers on both sides, sensorial centers both sides, emotive centers all through the brain, and so then more connectivity between word centers and sensorial centers and word centers and emotive centers, right? Because females are doing it on both sides, and this is transcultural. I see people from all races here. Yep, I see Asian, I see Africa-based, I see Caucasian. Uh, um, all cultures. So this is, this culture does not matter on this. Um, this is on X and the Y chromosome. So females are coming in with word centers on both sides, connectivity to sensorials and emotives on both sides. Males, testosterone surges in utero. And by the way, we get each other's hormones. So women have testosterone, obviously. Men have estrogen. But, but we're talking 10 to 20 times the testosterone surges and it resets the right side of the male brain. So the right side of the male brain is not doing words. Right side of the female brain, words. Right side of the male brain, not doing words. So what's happening on the right side? It is not empty. The right side of the male brain is doing spatial mechanicals and visual graphics. 
So the right side of the female brain is doing spatial mechanics and visual graphics, right? Yes, absolutely. But the, the testosterone brain, the brain that's reset by testosterone, is only doing spatial mechanicals and visual graphics.